Hi guys! Today I am reviewing two BB creams that are intended for combination to oily skin. The one on my right hand is a Korean BB cream. It's from Etude House Precious Mineral BB Cream Bright Fit. It has an SPF of 30 and it says it's whitening and anti-wrinkle, anti-darkening. The shade is in... Well, I don't know. I can't read... Korean. One on my left is an American brand. It's by Garnier and it has an SPF of 20 um, Skin Renew Miracle Skin Protector. The shade I'm using today is light medium. I'm gonna start off with Garnier. It contains two fluid ounces and the container is just a tube. When you open it up it's just kind of those squeeze out tubes like a toothpaste. As you can see, I have many imperfections on my face, so this is an awesome time to test out coverage, longevity, um, just the consistency. And you can see it's pretty liquidy. And the shade I think I have is um, just a tad too light, but you know, we can work with this. I'd rather actually go lighter than darker with any foundation or cream. I believe they only have like three shades available. They have two different types of BB creams. They have a normal one and then they came out with one for combination oily skin. A little goes a long way. I still have a lot in my hand. So pretty much set. It's um, It feels really soft and smooth. The Etude House contains 60 grams, which I don't really know what the conversion is, but it looks like to be about two ounces and it's a tube like tube like container what I love about it it has a pump so it's so convenient this one comes in several shades um, and sorry I, I think it came in four shades it's much thicker it to me it's the consistency of a foundation and this one's more my shade it has like a slight scent to it kind of like um, a really soft floral scent as I'm applying it it feels a little sticky same as the other BB cream a little does go a long way so you see I still have about a third of it left as you can see both BB creams seem to have a dewy finish um, but more so the Etude House I think both have great coverage my zits underneath my nose are concealed um, my face looks even so I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right it's been back about 15 minutes so the BB creams have set in I didn't put any setting powder at all because uh, we want to see the true longevity of the BB creams itself. And then let's test this out with flash photography. You know I actually look pretty oily with the flash. I bet having a setting powder would definitely help. But other than looking pretty shiny, I don't have a white cast or like that white glow from the SPF. So that's good. So it is about 9.20 in the morning. I'm going to wear this all day. I'll check back in a few hours. Hey guys, back for a quick update. It's about 2 o'clock. Let's see. The BB creams look good. I don't feel oily at all. On both sides, my skin looks pretty even. Both sides pretty much looks the same. So, so far, so good. I'm gonna check back at the end of the night. So I've had these BB creams on basically all day. It is just about 8 p.m. Let's see. Just from the looks of it, it looks like they have held up equally the same. Um, underneath my nose, the redness did come out and you could actually see it on both ends. So I don't think one has better coverage than the other. I'm looking at my cheeks, trying to see which side has the most blush to see, um, I guess, the longevity of the BB creams, but they honestly look the same. I thought the Korean BB cream would be way better than the American one, the Garnier, but I mean, as you can see in this test, they are pretty much equal. I feel like I don't look too oily. I would still use a setting powder and you could just use whatever setting powder 
over the BB cream. So that's it for my comparison review. Thumbs up if you found this video helpful and don't forget to comment what review you would like to see next. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out more reviews, first impressions. The link below, I'll have an entire playlist. Or if you're into everyday vlogs, click the video and I'll take you to my vlogging channel. It's Judy's Life. Happy Christmas, Judy!